Hello and welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Badminton Overhead Full Smash, a powerful technique to help you finish off rallies from the back court. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video to learn what is an overhead full smash, different types of overhead full smashes, and a few ways you can set up an overhead full smash. Let's jump right in. So starting off, what is an overhead full smash? Essentially, all it is is a forehand full smash where you're reaching over your head to hit the shot. This means it's a shot that's somewhat to your backhand side, but instead of hitting it with a backhand, you're reaching over your head to hit a forehand full smash. Because you have to reach over your head, this generates situations where you can hit very powerful shots because you have to turn or twist your body to get behind the shot and use this rotation to put it into your full smashes. To get the timing down right, there's a lot of things you have to practice, but practicing this enough will generate you a very, very good finishing shot. There are two main different types of overhead full smashes. The first one is a normal overhead full smash, where you're doing the traditional fork to get behind the bird and then swinging to finish the shot in your backhand side corner. The second variation is the overhead jump smash. Similar to the first style, you're using the traditional footwork to get behind the bird, but then you're jumping into the shot, generating even more power and rotation. And finally, the third type is a cut off overhead full smash, where you're essentially just jumping quickly to the backhand side hitting it with a overhead shot rather than a backhand shot and cutting it off early, leading to sharper but less powerful shots. These shots are a great way to surprise your opponents because it comes back to their side much quicker. There are a few main ways to set up an overhead full smash. Like a forehand full smash or any type of jump smash, the most traditional way is to do a spin net drop. When you catch the shot early in the front court and hit a spin net drop, forcing your opponent to lift the shot to your backhand side, you have more time to get behind the bird, set up the rotation and jump into the shot, leading to a very steep and powerful shot. Another way to set up an overhead full smash is during drive games. When you're hitting a lot of drives back and forth, sometimes your opponent might decide to pop it up towards the back court. If you are able to anticipate this shot to your backhand side, you'll be able to cut off this shot early by jumping to the side after the drives and finish the rally with an overhead full smash. A third and final way to set up an overhead full smash is to lead it with a backdrop. If your opponent tends to be a defensive player and you start with a backdrop, many times they might lift it again to the back. Here, you should take advantage of the second shot after your first backdrop, move quickly and explode to the corner, and finish it off with an overhead full smash. Either straight or cross, the overhead full smash is an extremely powerful tool that you should be adding to your offensive game. It's a great way for you to finish off the rallies and win quick points. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one.